Hello love bugs and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if y'all are new. My name is Jazz. This is Earth Vibes Tarot and this is going to be your late night love message, the LNL. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh my loves, we are going to go ahead and get into this. This is going to be like a you versus them type of a reading. So sit back, relax, take a chance, smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that you and your little monkey butt is subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me. Let's go ahead and get into the messages. Everything that you need to know is down in the description box below. Go ahead and just pause this video, take a moment, check out the description box just to make sure you have a clear picture on what is going on here. Remember, even though this is a Capricorn only channel, you guys are all very, very welcome. Let's go ahead and see what is going on between you and the one that you have on your mind, the one that you're here for. You have number two, communication, and number four, telepathic messages when our conversations are light-hearted and playful it eases the tension that it is that is sometimes there when we talk it's almost giving like this person you and them there's a sense of nerves there's a sense of um worry or concern sometimes that may come in but then when the two of y'all come together, like the ease of conversation, the ease of the connection, the ease, the ease, the ease, it just feels really, really good, right? Even though the connection may bring this sense of like, and it's not even nervous, like in a bad way, like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's like this energetic feeling, like this energetic pull, telepathic messages. I'm trying to connect with you and give you a message. Can you hear me? Can you hear them? Can you hear them? What's going on here, please, spirit? Show us more here between Capricorn and the one that they have on their mind, number three. So you have two, three, four, karmic ties. My heart is with another right now. I have to finish this karmic contract in order to be free. What's going on here, please, spirit? For some of you, this may be third party, but I'm going to be honest. I feel like it's more of what we have been talking about in the collective over the past couple of weeks and if you guys are new here welcome i do suggest that you guys check out some of the videos that have been posted um this past week or so because it's going to give a, a better picture on what i'm talking about here with this karmic ties energy it's bringing things are progressing because the karmic ties energy does not necessarily mean there is another person involved we have our own karma that we have to deal with. We have our own issues and, and problems that we're, we're dealing with on a personal level, let alone outside of another energy, another, right? So, you know, a lot of the times, unless you are for sure that there is somebody else, this karmic energy is nine times out of 10, something more personal to the person that they're having to deal with on their own, mentally, spiritually, in order to come to you in the manner in which you are trying to manifest it, right? So number four and number eight coming out all about growth. I've hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was reacting in fear. See, this is what I mean with that karmic energy. This person is dealing with what they've been trying to deal with. And then number eight messages all about or messages about truth. I know in my heart we'll be together one day and that helps me trust. Let's keep working on us. So the, the message here that this person has is really about connection and is really about is is this something that you would want to do as this things as things progress, as we go on in this energy. I want to apologize and whatever this person has done, I don't feel like it's major enough to warrant rejection. Right. And, and everybody's story is going to be different. So please make sure you take what resonates and leave the rest. But this I know I've hurt you and I'm sorry. It feels more or less as it relates to communication because of so, so many messages and communication energy coming through. It feels like this regret energy is around communication um, and around maybe how this person spoke to you or around how communication has gone. And there is this karmic ties energy that is related directly to it. Um, bottom of the deck is number eight, number three, and number five. So let's take a look. Number eight, 
telepathic messages again. You show up in my dreams and it helps me process buried memories. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Again, with that karmic ties, number three, communication. I care about you even when I don't act like it. I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable. You make this person feel an energy that has not been experienced in their life before, right? And this is something that is bringing up, again, karmic ties, karmic energy, experiences that this person is going through that is forcing them to change. And then you have number five, please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. And this is timing energy, right? So out of all the message energy, you have this timing of please don't give up. Things are progressing, right? So this is really nice and sustainable energy. Let's get into it, you guys. Let's get into it. Angel spirits and guides, I do thank you so much for bringing us together for these messages. I do feel like this person is looking for a sense of stability. I do feel like this person is looking to come forward and talk about this, right? But stability is the biggest thing. And the communication, I feel like, may have changed the dynamic of the relationship. And this person is trying to find, <coughs> excuse me, a place of solace here. All right, let's go ahead and get into the messages here. We're going to take a look at this person's energy here, please. So show us what we need to see for the one that we are connecting to for Capricorn. The collective of people that we are connecting to in this reading for Capricorn. Look at this. So you have the energy of the sun. Leo energy. Fire. Masculine. Power. Strength. Happiness. Hmm. The fact of the matter is, is this person feels like you are the one. This person feels like you're the one that brings us some, the sense of happiness, the sense of joy, the sense of <sighs> excitement, but in the most innocence of, innocent of ways, right? There's unconditional love and glory here, right? Show us more for Capricorn and the collective of people that we're connecting. Mm -hmm. Look, Empress. It's about creation. It's about love. This, this person may even want to have children with you. If you guys are in that, you know, cycle of life, this person may just want to create something with you, right? And it's far beyond the sense of partnership. It's, it's creating this sense of life, right? The creation of life. And this is, this is very beautiful, right? This person thinks about you. They dream about you. They feel like you're this beautiful, intuitive, loving, warm individual. They feel like you're very warm energy, very cozy, very um, homey. But there's this sense of spark. There's this sense of fire. There's this sense of, okay. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Judgment. This person is not lost without you. Lost without you. Can't help myself. But they, they, they miss you. Queen of Swords energy trying to come out there. This person, yeah. Mm. This person feels like there may be this energy of block, like can you hear me? Can you hear me? Or are you willing to hear me? We have the six of cups energy. This could be somebody from your past. Not necessarily, but there is a sense of memories. There's a sense of soulfulness. With the temperance card, we have Sagittarius energy, peace. But this is also, again, the sense of tranquility, the sense of warmth, the sense of union harmony balance and this feeling of because now you have th uh three out of the four cards being major arcana right now it's very much a mature energy this person sees you as a um, life partner there's they see you as somebody that they would want to um 
be involved with involved with excuse me as it relates to um passing down energies whether this is again in a romantic situation in a familial familial situation loving connection or whether this is through like a business situation and they feel like you are a good match in this in this business but this nine of pentacles it's a very independent person got their stuff together their issues aligned it's like they see you as the one i'm gonna be honest bottom of the deck is the knight of cups the two of pentacles the high priestess and the moon oh my god i feel like this person goes through like their mind a lot about what they're gonna say what they're gonna do because of how they view you and again this is back to the you show up in my dreams you do show up in this person's dreams very heavily very very heavily tell us about this energy of six of cups temperance tell us about this energy of six of cups temperance You've got the two of wands. You got the lovers. Six of swords, nine of swords reverse. This person sees you in their future. This person is, is already saying that they choose you that they love you, that they care about you, but there's almost this feeling of, of being stuck, stagnant, <clears throat> excuse me, or unable to, it, it, oh my goodness, this person, and this is not going to be for everybody's situation. Some of them are really letting things get to them and stop them from making the moves that need to be made. And this is going to show the strength in them mentally and spiritually, right? Because some of them still have a lot of growing to do. Tell us about this Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Mm, Ten of Cups. Oh my. Ace of Cups. You are the one that they want. Um, regardless of what may have happened in the past, they are fighting for this. This person is trying to push past boundaries in order to get this. This person wants you. Again, the one that you have in your mind, the one that you're here for, this person has a lot of internal strength that they can pull from if they allow themselves to and they see you as somebody that they want to spend like emotionally like you make this person so happy and this person sees you as somebody that they could spend the rest of their life with and it's far beyond this physical sense this is quite literally the love of their life What direct messages does this person have for Capricorn Free Spirit? Yeah, look, you make me so nervous. Because they feel like you are perfect for them. Like, look, I've looked up synchronicities. You don't know how much you mean to me. You are loved more than you know. This person has a lot to say that they don't say. And they, it, it's all about this communication. Yeah, I couldn't face the truth of us, so I tried to sabotage us all because of fear. You make this person nervous because you, you have ignited something within them that they've never felt before. And they're beginning to understand what this is. And they need a little bit of like, a little bit of grace here. Yeah, I want your attention. And I want to love you, but I don't know how. So I feel like... 
there's, you know, obviously two sides to every story and two parts to every message. And again, there's always going to be that group that isn't quite ready, right? That isn't quite ready to evolve past where they are in order to be able to show you, yeah, I now understand why I keep repeating lessons. I will do better. I woke up this morning thinking about you. Again, two sides to every story. So some of them are still going to be in this sense of fear, right? Continuing to sabotage, continuing to da 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 and then the other side of it, there's others that are ready to flip the script and are taking accountability and taking ownership for what has what has happened on their part, hoping that you would do the same for you and hopefully coming together in a relationship that means so much. Yeah, I really see myself settling down with you. You are their ideal partner. You are the one. They don't want nobody else but you. They now see who the you are for real. They now see the person that you are for real. I listened to certain songs to think about you and me and you were right about the things I needed to see. I want to make things right. Well, I hope this was confirmative for you and I hope you found this insightful. If it was and if you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you guys, so you can be uh, informed and be a part of the family, be a part of the fam bam. Of course, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll speak to you in the next reading.